Pentatonix won season three of the Sing Off and have been bringing their a cappella talent to the world ever since. Now the group is gearing up to release not one, but two EPs this fall. Mitch Scott, Avi, Kirsty, and Kevin join me now. Guys, great to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. You have been busy. You have two EPs coming out this fall. One already came out already. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that one all about? What, what songs are on there? What can we hear? Well, we just released PTX Volume 3. There is four covers and three originals. And um, we feel like we really found our sound with this EP, and we're really excited about it. What is, how is it different than your previous work? Um, I, f I feel like it's just, I think it's just more mature. Mm -hmm. um, and we've also traveled a lot now. Mm -hmm. And so I think we've just gotten a lot of um, inspiration from all the different places we've been. What mm -hmm. about the covers on the set? How do you go about picking those? Um, just any song that comes along and inspires one of us, mm -hmm. um, we'll bring it to the group. And we'll be like, I love this song, rather be, because I feel like Kirstie could sing it great. Like, we just, like, bring ideas, and then we try to arrange it. If it doesn't work out, we just ditch it. But most of the time, when someone's really inspired by something, it comes through. Are there ever any heated debates? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, there's always going to be musical differences. I mean, we're five different people from, you know, completely different backgrounds. But I think that's what makes the music so interesting, that we can meld all these different ideas together to create something that's really interesting. That's cool. Take me into like the writing process and the recording process, because I know you have a couple of originals on this one mm -hmm. as well. Well, we usually write um, individually mm -hmm. or like in duos or something. Um, and we write the song on our own, like with a guitar or piano, and then we bring it and then we arrange it like we would arrange a cover song. Um, and then the recording process, well, this particular time we were on tour in Asia and Australia during a lot of the recording, yeah. so we would just get a studio anywhere we could just rent one. and. Um, and it's kind of cool, though, to know our album's been recorded all over. So you guys are going to be in Pitch Perfect too. How did that <laughs> yeah. come about? Oh my goodness. How did that come How about? How did it come about? I feel like, actually, I feel like our fans were just kind of petitioning the, yeah. <laughs> the people on, yeah. on the crew. And they were like, we really want to see Pentatonix in the sequel. So I think that kind of helped right. get us on. But, um, and it was also such a perfect fit. Like, we right. just were big in the acapella world, and Pitch Perfect is like the acapella movie. And so, it, um, it was, we're honored to be a part of it. And we have a very small cameo in it, but we're really excited about it. It's yeah. going to be fun. Well, you we don't want to give too much away, but what was it like on set? Did you get to interact with some of the actors, like Anna Kendrick, or work with Elizabeth Banks? Actually, he did. You yeah. met Anna. Yeah, yeah. I met Anna Kendrick yeah, for a yeah. second. She came up to me, and she was like, I've seen your vines before. My roommate, roommate and I watched them. And I was like, thank you. I have seen your major motion pictures before. <laughs> 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 me and the rest of the world watch them. <laughs> no, but she was so sweet. Everyone was nice. It's funny how like everything is so fast moving and it's hurry up and wait and then it's, it was really cool being on a movie set for all of us and working mm -hmm. with Elizabeth Banks was the coolest yeah. thing ever. Yeah. She was so, so cool. sweet. She came up to us over and over and was like, y'all are killing it. I love you guys. I'm so happy to have you in the movie. I don't know set. how she did it either. Those work days are long. I know. Earlier this week, I received an email from a teacher who works in Baltimore, and she, I had interviewed you guys maybe a year or so ago on the phone, and she, I wrote an article about it, and she came across it and asked me if she can use my article as part of her curriculum for her musical chorus class, oh, which is so neat. So and I just feel like, you know, I don't know, it just me it means a lot for me to, you know, and personally, but I, for you guys, you really are changing the game here. Do you feel like you are in the a cappella world and in the musical, you know, industry in general? Yeah, I mean, I feel like in terms of the music industry, I feel like what we are doing right now, nobody else is really doing, especially in mainstream pop. And um, and I think that's why it's it's so exciting for our viewers and our listeners because it's so different from what they they're used to hearing. And it's so cool to be able to relate so much to choir nerds because we are all just choir nerds. We did this as a hobby growing up. We loved it. We grew up in choirs together. And so knowing that there are choir kids out there that are inspired by us is really cool that we can provide that for them because when I was growing up and in high school, there was no better feeling than being inspired and being excited about an artist. And so just knowing that we're doing that for people is really cool. Acapella is really hot right now. Do you think it's here to stay? Wow. Well, we're still you here. Know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. Yeah. No, that is I mean, good. You know, we're we're just going to continue doing our thing. We love making music and we're just hopefully, you know, going to continue making a lot more music for people. And it's it's not even about us really, you know, being a cappella mascots necessarily, but just, you know, doing what we love to do, creating music that we love and it just happens to be all vocal. Right, this so. is our sound. Yeah. yeah. For people who don't know your background, who are maybe just finding out about you, can you kind of give us a little background about how you guys all met and linked up before the sing-off? Yeah, well it was um, three years ago. Uh, the three of us, we've grown up together since we were like eight years old. And so three years ago, we were going to try out as a trio for the sing-off. 
Um, and then my friend was like, you should add a bass and a beatboxer. That'll really up your game for the show. And so we found Avi through that same friend, a mutual friend. And um, we found Kevin last second. He was the last member to join the group. We found him on YouTube. He had a video of him playing cello and beatboxing. And it is unbelievable. And so we were like, you have to be in our group. And he was down to join. And honestly, the five of us met as a group for the first time the day before the audition. Mm -hmm. And then, then the show was a whirlwind, and then we ended up winning the show, and then we started a YouTube channel, and it feels like it's gone by so fast. When you're not on the road, some of you are living together, I just found out. So yes. what's the living arrangements between you guys? So it's Whoa. these two together. What's up? Yes. And then, <laughs> and then yeah, they live in an apartment together. <laughs> and then she is by her away. Stuff. With a new doggy, I hear. With a puppy dog. Yeah. Yeah. that anyone will ever see. My, my little family. <laughs> oh, <that's really laughs> my cool. little family. Yeah, little family. I mean, dogs are great. And so you're all in L.A., right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Very nice. And next year, I hear maybe another album, a full length, perhaps? This yeah, time? that's yeah. what we're yeah, that's the home. Okay, so what will we hear on that or you know some more covers more originals more original yeah. more original yeah. material yeah yeah, yeah we're, we're slowly like transitioning to an original artist there'll always be covers because that that's what got us to where we are but um we do want to do more more original music and ptx volume three all our favorite songs are the original songs yeah. so we're, we're getting there yeah yeah how are, how are you guys at making up a song on the spot if i asked you to kind of like oh. come up with something right now oh, you know you think no. that was something we could do really well <laughs> that is I'm very not hard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no. yeah i mean like we can jam something musically but like if you bring lyrics into the thing no 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 no, 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 way. no, no, no. what if you can you give us a little sample of a jam I mean I could just start something you can make a bass line then they can Thanks so much, guys. I love it. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having us.